How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, you probably seen one of my previous videos. If you haven't, this is the Predator 9000 generator. I'll put up here above the, uh, the video with this generator. I did an unboxing and a break in and kind of showed you guys the general overall thing here. Um, so really out of that video, the only downside that uh, I wish this had that didn't was an hour meter. So, hopped on Amazon and I bought this hour meter. I'm not quite sure how you say the name of it. It's the Magic Magical May, I don't know. Pronounce it how you want, that's what it is, right? I'll go ahead and stick this product down here in the product description with the Amazon link where you can pick it up. Um, and to be fully transparent, it is a, an affiliate account. So if you guys get on there and order it or really order anything else, um, I'll get a little bit of kickback and it'll, it'll help actually support the channel um, so I can keep bringing you guys more videos like this. So this hour meter they claim works on marine, ATV, motorcycle, snowmobile, Really anything with a spark plug is supposed to work on it. So we're gonna find out ourselves on this here. Um, um, obviously for those of you like me, they want you, if you wanna track the service life of your vehicle, oil changes, the valve adjustment, spark plugs, etc. That's why I wanna get it, right? Cause I don't want to write down and keep track of the hours, um, at least hour by hour running during the, the duration, right? I can keep track of the actual value. Um, this is easy installation, peel and stick. There's no wiring necessary. Um, and it comes with the appropriate attachments inside here. Um, it says no batteries required. It connects directly to a spark plug wire and works on any gas engine. Like I said before, anything with a spark plug, any gas engine, it's supposed to work. But I'm going to do a quick design and we're going to print off a bracket. I want to mount this right here on the tube. So I'm going to create a little bracket that clamps onto this tube. And so I can mount the hour meter right here and um, it looks a little nicer than just drilling a hole in this cover and or zip tying it to this. Would all, would all three of those options work between me making a bracket and me drilling a hole or me zip tying it? Of course they would, but I don't like drilling holes into things and it's nice to just have brackets that can screw on and bolt in place and then you can attach this to it in case this is defective and you buy something new and now you don't have holes and you have to replace it with something different, right? But let's go ahead and I'm gonna get a print made up for this. We'll 3D print it so we can attach it. We'll go ahead and uh, wire this baby in, turn it on, see how it works. This is probably gonna be a really quick install. All right, so as you'll see here on the screen, I went ahead and designed a, um, a mount for this hour meter on Autodesk Fusion 360. Um, we will do uh, get a little bit more in detail in other videos, but I just kind of want to show you guys what I drew up. Essentially, it's just a block with a hole through it um, that you'll be able to put four socket head cap screws down into, and we will tap this bottom four holes. Um, either way, I will show you how I designed this more in detail in other videos or show you other similar designs. Um, but again, this is what I did. And if you see here, obviously we've got different components um, on the screen. And um, again, creates an assembly or individual components depending upon how you want to look at the at the assembly here, right? So again, it's a pretty basic block. And um, so we'll take this, we'll throw it in the 3D printer and uh, we'll get this printed off and put on the generator and we'll mount the hour meter to it. And like that, it's done. Let's see how this comes off. Oh, look at that. Just sitting on top. Sweet. So there's many ways to do this next step, but I am choosing to tap it. Um, tap this plastic. I designed it to be... Uh, I designed it at the tap drill size, so I can just run the tap through it. And I did extra walls. So when you tap it there, you see nice threads in the plastic. So that's how I'm choosing to do this. Like I said, if you want to use... Whatever you want to use on yours, it's fine. Or if you just want to drill in your generator, go for it. But I'm going to uh, use the tools I have at hand and uh, make this as good as possible. Um, and my, from my perspective, as good as possible, right? So, go ahead and finish cutting these threads here. All right, we got those tapped. I got my Core 20 socket head cap screws. They're going to go into here, and then they will go to the other side and uh, go into the holes we just threaded. All right. Um, unfortunately, Menards did not have a local, I guess, big chain store, did not have any black oxide socket head cap screws. So I picked up some stainless ones. They're like a whopping five cents more, I think. So in this package, you're going to find the hour meter itself. You'll find the pickup wire that runs the signal to the hour meter, which has no batteries. It's all ran off of the spark from the uh, ignition system. 
You have two screws to mount it and zip ties. Um, that's all it's included in the kit. Basically, it's going to show you here on the picture that you take that wire, wrap it five times around the spark plug wire. Um, just a little ways away from the end of the boot. It says four centimeters to be exact. Um, once you get it mounted on there, you'll check to make sure this hour meter on the left side here is blinking. If that's working, everything's working as intended. And then you will um, let it run there and every every six minutes, it's going to uh, to tick over to make sure that that uh, is working, right? All right, so let's go ahead and see how I'm gonna install this on there. So again, the package here, it's gonna show you how to do this. You'll wrap it around itself five times and then pull that wire back and zip tie it to itself so it stays secure. You wanna make sure this stays tight as it's running, you don't want it to fall off. So this uh, actual, um, this specific Predator 9000 generator has a little bit of a pull boot here on the back. So I'm gonna start here right after that. I'm on the spark plug wire to wrap it around five times. So let's go ahead and get this uh, wrapped on there and tie it off to itself. Um, this should be relatively quick and easy. Um, I don't foresee any problems with this specific setup. But let's go ahead and get it done. They're nice and snug. I don't want it to loosen up as it runs because that's not gonna do a whole lot of good to anybody. Looks like it's on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this up to the hour meter, get it out of the way, start the engine and see if it reads. All right, so on this, all you do is tuck the wire in the back side. So on that side, I'm not mounting like this, so I want the wire to be in this side. So you just put it in here. Use this little screwdriver to push it this way down in there. Make sure it's all at the bottom of that groove. So there's no question it'll come loose, and it's all the way down in. So here we go. So let's go ahead and start this and see if the R meter is working. Sure, we get that all buttoned up. We'll snip the extras off. Let's go ahead and install this on here, my 3D printed piece. Go ahead and throw the bottom up under here. Kind of get it to where I think it's going to be appropriate. Let's get this screw started. Well, that's rock solid on there. That's not going anywhere. Sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and run this up onto here. And it's gonna mount just like that. So I've got the arm meter parked right on top. Go ahead and screw those in there. That's solid. That's not going anywhere. Is it overkill? Maybe. Could I have mounted it right here? Sure, but well, doesn't that, I think that looks nicer. There's no holes in anything. If this breaks, I can change it out without changing holes. And again, personal preference, but uh, that's how I do mine. So, I mean, I think it turned out good on the install here. Let's go ahead and finish zip tying stuff off and then we'll take it outside for a quick run.
Thanks for stopping in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that hour meter is like the only only one thing on that Predator generator that I didn't like, that they didn't have. So I uh, think it was like $6, $7. Again, I'll put that link down here below in the bottom for you guys to look at it. Um, super easy install, works great. Um, I double checked. Every six minutes, it's recording a tenth of an hour. So it's working as intended. You saw how easy it was to install. And um, I mean, they say it's supposed to work on anything with a spark plug. Like I said, it's just using that spark through the um, spark plug wire to drive the hour meter itself. So again, highly recommend it. I mean, we'll see how long it lasts. I mean, it's just, it's just a little a little box that runs off of that signal. So I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't last. Um, they say it's 100% waterproof on the case. And um, I'm, again, uh, so far it seems to work well. And for the price, it's hard to beat. Super easy to install and, and uh, whatnot. So was the uh, mount I made a little overkill? Yeah, it's quite possible it was, or I could have just screwed in the plastic there, but I think that keeps it looking nice and neat and uh, into a professional level. And I'm all about keeping things looking, um, I guess, as factory as possible. The cosmetic appeal that really it looks like it's meant to be that way, right? So again, thanks for stopping in today, guys. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.